Burren is a unique karst landscape region in northwest County Clare in Ireland. The region measures approximately 250 square kilometres and is enclosed roughly within the circle comprised by the villages of Ballyvaughan, Kinvara, Tubber, Corrofin, Kilfenora and Listunvarna. It is bounded by the Atlantic and Galway Bay on the west and north, respectively. The rolling hills of Burren are composed of limestone pavements with criss-crossing cracks known as grikes, leaving isolated rocks called clints. The region supports Arctic, Mediterranean and Alpine plants side by side due to the unusual environment. The blue flower of the spring gentian, an alpine plant, is used as a symbol for the area by the tourist board. The Burren's many limestone cliffs, particularly the sea cliffs near Fanor, are popular with rock climbers. For potholers, there are a number of charted caves in the area. The Burren is rich with historical and archaeological sites. There are more than 90 megalithic tombs in the area, portal dolmens, a Celtic high cross in the village of Kilfenora, and a number of ring forts. Among them, the triple ring fort Cahar Camon on the edge of an inland cliff and the exceptionally well preserved Cahar Connell stone fort. Pool Nebrone is the best known of all the Irish dolmens. This dramatic site on the karstic limestone pavement of the Burren is one of the most famous Irish burial chambers. The name Pool Nebrone literally means the Hole of the Sorrows. The thin capstone sits on two 1.8 metre high portal stones to create a chamber in a 9 metre low cairn. The eastern portal stone was replaced in 1985 following a discovery that it was unfortunately cracked. Excavations during the repair showed that this site dated back to about 2500 BC. Uncremated remains were found in the chamber, its portico and in the grikes, which are crevasses in the limestone floor. In particular, there were the main body bones of one newborn baby, six juveniles and 16 to 22 adults. Only one of the adults lived beyond 40 years and the majority were under 30 when they died. An analysis of all the fragments of disarticulated bones reveal a hard physical life and a coarse diet. It was further proved that the bones were naturally defleshed elsewhere by exposure or burial and only then moved within the chamber at Pool Nebron. A number of grave goods were found in the tomb, including a polished stone axe, two stone disc beads, a perforated bone pendant, part of a bone pin, two quartz crystals, flint and sharp arrowheads, and scrapers and over 60 shards of coarse pottery. The 
dolmen is surrounded by a low mound, largely made up of stones, but it seems unlikely ever to have covered the whole monument. It is worth noting that in the same area, there are about 70 other tombs. Carron Church served the largest parish in Clare until the 16th century. It was built around 1200, but some of what we see today, including the fine doorway in the south wall, dates from the 15th century. The interior was well lit with a fine pointed window in the east end, above the altar, and two windows in the south wall. The battlements suggest the parish priest felt the need to defend himself. To the south of the church is a small mound of stones or cairn, from where Karen probably takes its name. It used to be a local custom to carry the coffins around this cairn before burial in the churchyard. <laughs> 